Ever pondered deeply on who you truly are? This is the fundamental question that kicks off the journey of self-discovery. Each of us is a unique blend of thoughts, emotions, and experiences. Yet how well do we truly know ourselves? Let's start with self-awareness. It's the ability to observe our thoughts, feelings, and actions without judgment. It's about understanding our motivations, our fears, and our dreams. And the first step to cultivating this awareness? Daily rituals. These could be moments of mindfulness, meditation, or journaling. These practices anchor us, allowing us to observe our inner world with more clarity. Consider meditation. It's like a mirror for the mind reflecting our thoughts and feelings back to us. It gives us a chance to pause and to observe, to see the patterns that shape our reactions and our decisions. And then there's journaling, a tool for self-reflection. Writing down our thoughts and feelings can help us understand them better. It's like having a conversation with ourselves, a dialogue that can reveal surprising insights about who we are and what we want. Emotional intelligence is another key aspect of knowing ourselves. It's the ability to recognize our emotions, to understand why we feel the way we do, and to manage those emotions effectively. It's about cultivating empathy for ourselves and others, about navigating the complex landscape of our inner world with grace and understanding. And let's not forget about stress management. We all experience stress, but how we respond to it can tell us a lot about ourselves. Some of us might retreat, seeking solace and solitude. Others might reach out, finding comfort and connection. Understanding these patterns can help us develop healthier ways of dealing with stress, contributing to a deeper understanding of ourselves. Awareness begins with acceptance. Accept who you are, and that can be the start of a fascinating journey. So, let's embark on this journey together. A journey of self-discovery, of understanding, and ultimately, of growth. What sparks a light in you? What ignites your passion? These are questions that guide us on our journey to self-discovery. Our life purpose is often entwined with our passions. It's the fire that fuels our existence, the spark that pushes us to transcend boundaries, and the beacon that guides us through the darkest nights. But how do we uncover these passions? How do we discover this purpose that's so profoundly connected to our very essence? The answer lies in exploration, an inward journey to the deepest recesses of our hearts. It's about asking profound questions, embracing our curiosity, and seeking the unknown. Perhaps you've always felt a pull towards art, a passion for science, or a love for helping others. Whatever it is, acknowledge it. Don't shy away from these feelings, but rather lean into them. Dive into new experiences, step out of your comfort zone, and discover what truly moves you. Once you've identified these passions, it's time to connect them to your larger life goals. This might seem daunting at first. After all, how can you achieve a life of purpose and passion? The key is to break it down into smaller, manageable steps. Let's say your passion is writing and your life purpose is to inspire others with your words. Start small, write every day, share your work with friends, or start a blog. Each step, no matter how small, is a step towards your life purpose. Remember, this journey of discovery isn't a race. It's a lifelong process of growth, exploration, and self-reflection. There will be challenges along the way, but each obstacle is an opportunity for growth. Embrace the journey, keep your passions alight, and let them guide your way. In the grand scheme of life, your passions and purpose aren't just about you. They're about what you can give to the world. So go ahead, ignite your passions, discover your purpose, and make your unique mark on the world. What does inner peace mean to you? It's a simple question, yet it holds profound implications. In our journey of self-discovery, mental health plays a pivotal role. It's not just about navigating the highs and lows of life, but about building resilience, fostering emotional intelligence, and achieving a state of inner peace. Now imagine inner peace as a serene lake. It's tranquil, undisturbed, reflecting the world around it with crystal clarity. That's the state of mind we're aiming for. A calm and clear mind that can reflect reality without distortion. This is where mindfulness and meditation come into play. Meditation, in its simplest form, is about focusing your attention and eliminating the stream of jumbled thoughts crowding your mind. It's about quieting the mental noise, giving your mind the space it needs to breathe, to heal, to grow. Meanwhile, mindfulness is about being present, about fully engaging with the here and now. It's about observing your thoughts and feelings without judgment. But how exactly do mindfulness and meditation contribute to inner peace? Well, when you meditate, 
you're training your mind to focus and redirect your thoughts. You're learning to observe without reacting, to understand without judging. This helps in reducing stress, enhancing self-awareness, and promoting emotional health, all of which are essential for inner peace. But what about those pesky negative thoughts? We all have them, and they can be quite a nuisance, can't they? The key here is not to suppress or ignore them, but to acknowledge them without letting them control you. You can do this by practicing cognitive reframing, a psychological technique that involves identifying and challenging negative thoughts. By changing the way you perceive these thoughts, you can alter your emotional response to them, thus promoting a healthier and more positive mindset. Remember, inner peace begins the moment you choose not to allow another person or event to control your emotions. So, take the reins of your mind, cultivate mindfulness, practice meditation, and embark on your journey towards inner peace. After all, the path to self-discovery is not just about finding who you are, but also about creating who you want to be. How do you show love to yourself? It's a question that often prompts us to delve into the realm of self-care. Self-care serves as an essential component of the journey towards self-discovery, as it enables us to maintain our physical, emotional, and mental health, and ultimately, to better understand ourselves. At the heart of self-care lies the concept of nurturing our bodies through nutrition and exercise. It's about fueling our bodies with nutritious food that gives us energy, supports our immune system, and helps us feel our best. Exercise, on the other hand, isn't just about maintaining physical health and strength. It's also about feeling invigorated, reducing stress, and boosting our mood. Keep in mind that it's not about punishing your body, but rather about celebrating what it can do. Moreover, self-care is about more than just our physical well-being. It's also about treating ourselves to activities that we love, that make us feel alive and that bring us joy. This can be anything from reading a book, to painting, to going for a walk in nature, to spending time with loved ones. It's about taking time out of our busy schedules to do the things that truly light us up. However, self-care is not a one-size-fits-all concept. It's deeply personal, and what works for one person may not work for another. It's about exploring different activities and habits and finding what resonates with us, what helps us to relax, and what makes us feel cared for. Remember, self-care is not about being selfish or indulgent. It's about acknowledging our own needs and taking steps to meet them. It's about taking care of ourselves so that we can be the best version of ourselves, not just for us, but also for the people around us. In the end, self-care is a powerful tool for self-discovery. It helps us to tune into our bodies, to listen to our needs, and to understand what truly makes us feel good. Self-care is not selfish. You cannot serve from an empty vessel. So let's fill our vessels with love, care, and kindness, and embark on this beautiful journey of self-discovery. Have you ever sought the deeper meaning of life? A question that invites us to transcend the hustle and bustle of everyday existence and delve into the profundity of our being. Spirituality, often misunderstood as a domain exclusive to religious practices, is in reality much broader. It's an exploration of the mystical, the unseen, and the unexplained. It's about seeking a connection with something larger than ourselves. And this search can be a transformative experience on our journeys of self-discovery. As we embark on this spiritual journey, we start to perceive the world around us differently. The mundane becomes magical. We begin to appreciate the interconnectedness of all things. We discover a sense of purpose and meaning that goes beyond our individual selves. And this sense of purpose is not just about fulfillment and contentment. It's about making a positive impact on the world around us. But how do we embark on this journey? There are as many paths to spirituality as there are individuals. Some may find solace in prayer, others in meditation. Some might find it in the tranquility of nature, others in the rhythm of music. The key is to find what resonates with you, what brings you peace, what helps you connect with your inner self. And as we journey within, we start to understand ourselves better. We start to recognize our strengths, accept our weaknesses, and embrace our flaws. We become more compassionate, not just towards others, but towards ourselves as well. We learn to let go of what no longer serves us and make room for growth and transformation. This journey is not always easy. There will be moments of doubt, moments of fear. But remember, it's in these moments that we find our true strength. It's in these moments that we grow. In the end, our goal should be to lead a fulfilling life. A life that brings happiness to us and also contributes to the happiness of others. And this, my friends, is the true essence of spirituality and self-discovery.